what did you do? A lot like what? had sex with him. <sighs> Hang on, I, I'm trying to, trying to hear her and she's a little muffled. Okay, go ahead. You had sex with him. Why? You don't know. <sighs> you... So, um... Yeah, we, we, we were teenagers when we met. And, uh... She was... In my school. We went to the same school, and I had uh, I had just uh, gotten broken up with by uh, my last girlfriend because she uh, thought that I was stupid because I was telling people that I was older than I was, just you know a little school clout type of shit. And uh, then I met her, and she was also just getting out of a relationship with somebody that I was cool with, actually, And but he treated her really bad. So I saw a good, <laughs> I saw a good girl. And uh, decided to talk to her myself. And she, she said she could tell I was different. And she wanted to, you know, like explore stuff. And I was with it, you know. And uh one day um, you were called me. One day she called me and she was crying. And I was like immediately concerned, you know, and I was like, what's going on? Like, what's wrong? Why are you upset? You know, and my baby just talked to me, just talked to me because she just kept crying and wouldn't tell me what was going on. And then finally, uh, she says, after getting through the sobbing, she says, I did something bad. And immediately it was like a shot through the heart because I just, I just knew, I knew what she was about to say. And uh, so I took a second to respond. And then I asked her, what did you do? And she said, what did you say? You remember? <laughs> she said, yep. She said, I had sex with a guy. And uh, there was a long pause. And I just looked at the phone, you know, like, I just... I was just looking at the phone, kind of in shock, 
And uh, I ask you, with who? And you didn't want to answer that at first because you thought I was going to hurt him. (laughs) And uh, eventually she reveals to me that it was somebody I know, somebody from the neighborhood, you know. And uh, I said to her, why I literally live a 10 minute walk from you. (laughs) And uh, she was just like, you know, crying and apologizing and, you know, babe, I'm so sorry, all of that kind of thing. But you never actually told me why you did it. All I got was an I don't know, you know. So now I'm, I'm curious. Because you were lost. <laughs> That's a fair answer. I seem emotional. I mean, she she was probably the f- first girl that I like really loved. You know, at an older age, you know, you have little puppy loves and stuff like that. You know, when you're a child and whatnot. But then when I'm a little bit older, she was probably the first one, and I was very very serious about her. I remember one day walking home after spending the day with her at her house. I had just met her mom, you know, uh, and I was walking home having a conversation with myself wherein I literally said, I would literally die for this girl. Like I would, I would kill someone for this girl. I, I don't even know like what I would not do for her. And then it just, you know, kind of got deeper from there. So, (laughs) but yeah. I, I guess maybe I figured it was something that I did or wasn't doing, you know, that would, like, have caused you to do that. And it wasn't. (laughs) Yeah. I know I was great to you. (laughs) Used to do stuff like bring you treats (laughs) before school, stop at the store, get stuff that I know you loved, and just bring it to school. I remember one time breaking into your locker. You remember that? Broke into her locker and put a glass rose at the top of the locker and then closed it back, locked it back. And, uh, yeah. I'm just very... I'm very cute. You just, I don't understand why if you wanted to be with somebody else, you wouldn't have just told me that or just left, you know? Why didn't you just leave? I want to ask a question. How many times did you cheat on me? If you had to guess. So 
so I what happened after that I actually I forgave her I forgave her and gave her another chance Why did I forgive you 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 were like my best friend, you know? You were like my best friend. Yeah. So. And I, I, I didn't see things being the same without you. And I didn't want things to be different because they had never been like that for me, you know? <laughs> I think, uh, I think when we first, when we first had the conversation, I, I, uh, I was just totally fucked up and didn't know what to do or say. I hung up on her and, uh, and he just said I needed to go and hung up on her. And, uh, <clears throat> I I still wanted to help her through. I wanted to help you through whatever you were going through that caused you to do that. Like I felt like there was, you know, maybe you just never had somebody who really loved you, you know? And figured I could be the one to change that, you know, change you. I remember one time I'm, I made, <laughs> I remember one time I made you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I made it. I'd have felt because I didn't have anything else. And uh, it's funny, I was actually going through uh, a box in the closet and I found some of the old felt that I used to make that for you. Probably took me like three days to make that for you. It was totally worth it seeing the look in your eyes after I gave it to you. It was so happy and just like you couldn't believe that I would that I did that for you and you put it on your dresser. It was a very proud moment for me. I think I kept these in representation of something that was bigger than just you. But Something that was representative of me and my heart, you know, re regardless. And, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, uh, um, really just wanted to be with you a lot. 
you know. Was it me? No, she was. <laughs> she... I don't know what I. I don't know what I could have done, cause I always felt like I was really kind and great and just loving to you, to her. You know. Yeah. You know, uh, lately I've been, I've been like, no, I've been good. I've been really good. And she, uh, <laughs> I have been really good since the day. No, I, I have been really good, actually. Life's, life's good for me now, you know? And not that it was terrible then, but it, it was hard to say the least you know <laughs> how <laughs> how did you feel after that I'm curious you know after I made you this stuff and then you cheated on me and then I forgave you and then you broke up with me a couple weeks later and I think I had to realize that you did what you did because you didn't really want to be with me you know and could, I guess it could have been for a lot of reasons where teenagers like the one before her you know broke up with me because everybody else thought I was stupid you know because I was lying about my age and so when she comes along and then does the same thing I suppose it could have been for a lot of reasons but it wasn't because I was bad to her I was always good to her I was always good to you right She was, she was good to me, too. Obviously, I mean, I, I wouldn't have gotten as deep as I got with her if that weren't the case, you know. But I want... Why would you beg for my forgiveness? I mean, like, you literally sobbed and... begged me to forgive you and I did eventually and then you, you break up with me two weeks later what was the thinking behind that Hey man, I, I need a minute, man. I need, I need a minute. Oh, good. Wait. Okay. So I uh Thank you for being honest and for, for just telling me that, you know, you've honestly made me into a better man. I know that wasn't your intention. You probably had no idea that that was going to be what transpired from your transgressions or whatever, but at first, it made me kind of cold to 
girls to women, you know? Like, I, I couldn't even see myself being with anybody, you know? Going through that again. So, kind of hopped into the new age mentality before it was the new age mentality. And it was like, I'm just not going to be with anybody, you know? I'll just date people and then... You know, wherever it goes, it goes. And, uh, yeah. It's probably a good decision because I could very easily have been hurt again along the way and have gotten colder the way so many other people do in life when they get repeatedly hurt, you know. But, uh, no, you, you were a champion of change for me you made me love harder stronger eventually after i got over it i hurt and all of that you know you made me you convinced me that all people aren't the same and i knew that because i wasn't the same as you i would never I cheated on you. No, I never even thought about cheating on you. Literally, never. Your best friend tried to get with me too. Don't know if you know that or not, but your best friend. You, oh yeah, you did know, because I told you. I remember now. <laughs> yeah, your best friend tried to get with me. And she was bad. So, I had any opportunity but it's just not in me to do that to somebody that I literally felt like I would die for. I couldn't even fathom that, you know? But knowing that is what caused me to gain the perspective that everyone's different and you can't judge somebody based on the actions of somebody else, you know? So I, I look at prospective women who I'm dating differently now, you know. What did you learn from that? Do you th feel like you learned anything? Sorry for hurting me. Thank you for that. It's a lot. It means a lot. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know? I, I can forgive her. I've honestly already forgiven her a long time ago years ago I can't live with grudges on my heart you know I learned that they don't hurt anybody but the person who's holding the grudge <laughs> I'm sure you lived your life after that and didn't feel the hurt that I felt you know so I couldn't allow that to plant a seed and fester in my heart. So, I thank you. I thank you for being the one who set the fire that molded the gold. <laughs> you know? Really? Sounds sarcastic, but I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I'm very... I'm being very serious right now. Yeah. No. No. No, I don't. Because the way you handle things, I don't wish that it was different. 
you know, because the way you handled things, meaning broke up with me after cheating on me and I took you back, is a benchmark, I feel like, in my life. Let me know what some people are capable of. No matter how hard you love them, you gotta see them for who they are, you know, and not for who you hope they are, who you want them to be for you, who you want to be for them. We tend to see the world how we see ourselves, and I think that that's why I just assumed we were going to be very strong together, assumed you'd be very loyal, you know. Have you found peace in your life? I truly hope that you do. I truly hope that you do. I hope that I hoped that you did then, you know. Even in even in the midst of the pain, I didn't I didn't hope that any harm came on you or that even that you felt what I felt. Just kinda wanted you to be okay and to change <laughs> you know I just wanted you to change because I know that your life would not be good if you never did it <laughs> could never have someone good who truly loves you so now you you have uh, two kids cool very cool congratulations the dad around Why? If you don't mind me asking, I don't need a big story, but like, I think what I'm asking is, was it because of you? Did you cheat on him? That's fine. You don't have to answer that. It's cool. Do you, do you feel like, did, did you ever feel like your life would have been different? Or like, at least then, your life would have been different had you never done that? Because I was really like, deep for you, so there's no telling what twists turns our lives would have taken but I'm just curious fair enough fair enough Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, she was, <laughs> she was a feisty little one, but she, she obviously wasn't perfect, but she was kind of perfect in my eyes, you know. Yeah, you were quite perfect in my eyes until that point. Even though you were like, I could tell, sad, you know, it's probably home stuff that you were dealing with and all of that kind of thing, which I tried to help heal and, and hence why I took you back. I thought that I could heal that, thought that I could be the one to change that. I mean, it's all good, you know, it's all good. Do I miss you? What do you mean, like, now? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, uh, I just shed that little tear a second ago.
because uh, I was reminded of how I felt back then, you know. I was reminded of the hours that I spent making this for you and the look in your eyes when I gave it to you and the fluttering, jumping of my heart as I looked into your eyes while you unwrapped your present. You know, that was a big, big deal, good thing for me, you know. And that there's absolutely no regret. There's just, uh, just the f feeling, um, the thought that, you know, maybe if you, I don't know, things would have been different if you weren't. A cheater. <laughs> really, I mean, yeah. No, I. I really hope that you find whatever you're looking for in life, and. I hope that you learned from our experience, you know. If nothing else, I hope that you learned something and that you aren't damaged too much by your own decisions. Because that would really suck. But I, I pray for your peace. I do. And I accept my... And did a long time ago.